I don't know, like for me, like if I've seen any converts, it's always been from afar and it's always been like they've been converting to the cops of church. Like I've noticed that. I don't know if you have so like if I, if somebody says, oh, I've, I'm like Orthodox now, I would probably assume, oh, they probably like converted through the Coptic Orthodox Church. Like I see more like Coptic Orthodox converts than I see like EOTC specific. And I want to say that's honestly like really just because of like just like the language barrier i, I like i generally want to say like I, like all the eotc churches around um north america like most of them aren't held in like english services or like aren't held the liturgies aren't held in english mm -hmm. um and for that reason like that's obviously going to be a really big hindrance like the language barriers um and so i think that's probably like what like the first like impression you'll probably get if like a person who isn't orthodox if they were to walk into an EOTC they probably think like oh it's very like very much centered on like, the culture and they probably aren't able to like I don't know if I'm making sense but, like, they're probably not... it's not relatable it's like a barrier you think I I want to say it's that like I feel like we probably if everything like if everything was in English or like like if a lot of things were in English I feel like there would be we'd see a lot more converts so but well just... mm -hmm. um like have have you actually had like black people who aren't orthodox come to your church um, like visitors so. like people visit visitors yeah there'd be like the one occasionally i think yeah I think, but, but not like, often okay, and i've that? never i think they've honestly i think they've always been white like i don't think they've been black mm. i just i think like a big like role that has to do with that is like history for example because like mm -hmm. um i think for a majority of like black americans in america obviously like i want to say it's protestant and um I baptist say baptist yeah. yes yeah and mm -hmm. i think that really has to do with like like his like historically of like how it happened like i i'm not i, I don't remember i don't know any details like that but i do remember learning in history like um like i don't know like i think maybe whether that be a lot of like um whether that be like civil rights leaders or during like um the, the civil rights movements like i think a lot of them were like protestant or like baptist um mm -hmm. churches were opening up and like since they were all in the area whether that be in the south and then like they were they they were able to m migrate that to like you know across america whereas mm -hmm. For Eritreans, for example, like our history is different where our parents and like, you know, like Orthodox, I don't know, was it Orthodox like something with their, like an Edita? No. Like, you know, it's different, like historically of how everything it's, started. Yeah, exactly. Like our history yeah. is actually very much different. Like, like the slave trade, it was in West Africa, correct? Like West Africa and like mostly not East Africa and Eritrea is in East Africa. So the history is low key, or like it just never kind of intertwined. Mm -hmm. but that's okay, not to say so we didn't you, have the same struggles i'm sure like we probably yeah, we had the same right. struggles but it was just it, it never kind of overlaps but in america like now uh, i mean co like you your common person doesn't know like yeah that you're a richer and orthodox and this other black person is like baptist they have no idea no. so your your upbringing here has been a been as you're perceived by outsiders, I assume it's like the same, right? Well, and by that, I mean like, uh, did you say something a lot? No, go ahead. What yeah, by that, that I just mean like that, like you're a black person in America. They don't know if you're Orthodox or non-Orthodox, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the history may be different, but like at least the history that's happening in America is the same, right? It's the same, yeah. Like the ancestral history may be different, but Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I don't, I'm not like an expert by any means on like uh, black like history, uh, Christianity, but um, my understanding is like like the the slaveholders did not want them to learn the faith because that would give them hope. So they weren't like definitely not encouraging them to read the Bible and pray or, or learn the Bible. Uh, um, Cause I think literacy, liter literacy was like really low at that time. Um, so they were praying and stuff in secret. And that was another shared bond that 
this uh, priest mentioned was that that's also how the, the church, the original church started. It was all in secret, mm -hmm. praying in secret, learning the faith in secret, um, complete reliance on God. Um, do you wish, do you wish that uh, the Eritrean and Ethiopian churches in America would minister to black people to, you know, yeah. bring them to the faith? Do you think that's, that's not like a special responsibility we should put on those churches and it's just everybody? Because to me, I would think it would, it would be like an easier path, right? Like you're just more easier to identify, like you maybe feel more comfortable. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, did you guys, I'm, how did you guys feel like going to like when you're in the Coptic church and it's like all a bunch of Egyptians around you? Like, does it feel normal to you? Cause you guys grew up Orthodox anyway, so it doesn't matter or, you know, I mean, you just tell me how you feel. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, so. Um, okay, wait, there was like two, because in the beginning, you're like, yeah. uh, I can answer that first part and then go off to like, like sure, the, sure. I mean, I think for as of right now, like the current situation we are with like Eritrean and like the Ethiopian church, the blind cannot lead the blind when it comes to like helping. Oh, no, like at least for us, like we, I don't think right now, like the Eritrean church or the Ethiopian church, or like at least speaking for the Eritrean church, could like minister like or evangelize with uh, like for example like black americans right now because we don't even have a patriarchy as at, like a patriarch at the moment and we're still we have a lot of like things that are going on where we're not progressing and i don't know that could be an hindrance of like wanting people like from an outside perspective if anyone were to join our church it would i, I would honestly like i don't think i we're as developed as we should be for that but however if it's just simply like you know wanting to build a relationship with god and like wanting to know the history of, of it of course like they can but i don't know if at the time of where we are um like evangelizing and just like telling people to join our church because also they have it's just like telling anybody else like who's like a devoted like protestant christian telling you oh you should come to the orthodox church like i don't know like i think everyone has their it's like like i don't know you know what i mean like telling someone to just come just because why you know we share the same struggles like of course like that's important but i don't i don't know if that's like our 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 uh, spot responsibility or yeah. like it's probably like it's not relevant enough like yeah. just because we share the same struggle is what you're saying kind of yeah yeah but but i yeah. yeah i agree with you on the first part like we have so many like internal things that we need to fix before we can even like think about like it's a good question that you brought up because i've never ever once thought about it like at all like thinking about like evangelizing like you know other people that aren't like Eritrean or Ethiopian, just because of like how much we've just been like kind of like just focusing on improving like the conditions like in the church. Yeah. I'd say it's good or bad. It's just like, that's like the reality of it, you know? Yeah, I just think about it because I wonder like if, you know, someone was going to evangelize to a certain group of people, I would think people who, you know, yeah. share some similarities with them in america would be better um but then that goes to the second question like does it actually matter like does that you know similar kind of identity you know help you know help at all like you know what's been your experience in the coptic church and no don't worry nobody's watching this anyway so you know just just be real like <laughs> Uh, you know, how, like, how do you feel being in there? Like, it must be different, obviously, being at home with people, your family, friends, everybody, you know, but, uh, you know, what's it like? Uh, obviously, you know, uh, our little group is so kind and welcoming, but just in general, like, how does it like, how does it feel being, you know, you're one of maybe like a handful of black people in, in the St. Mark Church? Do you want to go? I, uh, um, I can start. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's been like, it's been interesting. Like, I would say if I wasn't Orthodox and if I was just like Protestant or something, I would definitely feel out of place, like for sure. 
just because it's like a room full of Egyptians, but um, <laughs> having <laughs> uh, having like the kind of like the same faith, like like having that like bond or connection, it helps like it helps it a little bit better. And it, I don't think of it as much, and I like I don't feel as out of place just because like we have the same faith, mm-hmm. and especially like I think like for me personally, like I've gone way more comfortable just from the fact like if i meet like if i make new friends for example it's just almost like i i'm talking to like one of like my like one of our friends from back home like it's just it's very similar like the cultures the Egyptian culture and Eritrean culture they're very like they're they're the same honestly yeah um, yeah both and, immigrant cultures it sounds exactly. like in america yeah yeah and um yeah so like i've always felt way more comfortable like once i started making more friends and stuff um i felt like less out of place if that makes sense but like i think it just primarily came off like it's, i think it's just because like i didn't know anybody at the time and so like at least in the beginning um and so i felt like oh i kind of feel a little out of place but just like knowing that we're both orthodox like i think helped a lot like yeah i don't know if i answered that well enough but <laughs> Yeah, um, I think also same because um, when I first walked in, I from the, inside the Coptic Church, like obviously it's not like all Eritreans like covered yeah. with people like that. Um, but I, I mean, at the beginning for me, like I'm like, oh, I'm just going to church, just you know, to, just to go to church, you know, pray to God, whatever. Like yeah. I don't know, I feel like essentially in the beginning for me, it's like, oh, it's not like. Um, like our culture that unites us is more of our faith and like what yeah exactly you know what i mean because usually yeah. like you're at church with the same morals similar morals hopefully the same world and like you know practicing the same religion i want to say like that brings me enough like trust and like you know to be like open with the person or just like oh no like even though in the beginning you're like very like shy or that at least for me you just don't know yeah mm-hmm. then I guess with time and just like again like i want to say like especially how our community or small group welcomed us with open arms like even though i don't know we know we don't really know each other in the beginning but like again how like god tells us like well like come as you are and just like welcome people like you know like i remember the first time i met sally like she gave me a big hug i'm like do i know her from somewhere <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I know her. And she's like, yeah. and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like so sweet. And it's like, yeah, it's like it was nice to see that. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, I guess with language, it's like it's, it's again like if so- anything, like yeah, like I was gonna say, if anything, I'd feel even more out of place if we were at like a Eritrean church that was like Protestants. Mm. Like I feel more out of place then than like uh, like that. Interesting. Church, that okay. So you think yeah, the shared faith really? I think that really it yeah. supersedes like all the exterior differences or cultural differences yeah Mm -hmm. i agree with that i definitely agree with that 